He's back. It makes 92.9's Joe Breezy is here. All right, he's got the 411 on the latest happenings in Music City. And today, that includes a fight mm. on Broadway? A friendly country music star fight, okay. which we're going to touch on here uh, shortly. But here's the thing. I want to start things off by talking about a movie, a classic that I'm sure you've seen. But now you can see the play, Driving Miss Daisy. Ooh. So that's tomorrow yeah. at the factory in Franklin. Now, of course, it's about an unlikely friendship between a woman and her driver that breaks new ground and their lives are changed forever. It has so many wonderful life lessons and it kicks off tomorrow. It runs through March 24th. Now, they offer student, military, and educator discounts, which I think is really cool. Yeah. So if you're a teacher or like, you know, a teacher admin, they you deserve know, it. 1,000%, which is really neat. But here's the thing. When I did some uh, kind of poking around for this, um, you can actually check out their season passes. So if you want to see other plays, that they offer like a uh, million dollar quartet mm. and it's a wonderful life Aww. you can get kind of a cool sweet deal and kind of gives you a, you know a reason to have to yeah. go out and check out a new play yeah like that. Exactly. which is kind of neat you know getting out of your comfort zone we trying love the new theater. things yes yes all of it and now if you're looking for some inspiration in the business world well you can have cereal with the cereal entrepreneur Ooh. get it two cereals right there back to back so <laughs> it's now this is the first thursday of every month you enjoy a big bowl of your favorite childhood cereal and have a conversation with a Nashville entrepreneur. Isn't that cool? So you can learn from experts from different fields, exchange ideas, the whole thing over cereal. I think it's great. I love great that. Great networking. Totally. Yeah. And just a, a fun way to kind of mix it up, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's at 9 a.m. tomorrow at the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. Uh, tickets are pretty reasonable, too. Now, it's run by Sherry uh, Dochman, I believe is how you pronounce her last name. Now, she's the founder of Brain Trust, which is a company dedicated to helping mm -hmm. women grow their businesses. Mm -hmm. And again, who doesn't love cereal, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. With I, that, I was going to say, what's your favorite cereal? We got to talk about it. I can't have cereal at the house because it's gone. I mean, like, cereal you don't trust is like, yourself with no, it. No, cereal's like my bad food, meaning like I am yeah. bad around it. <laughs> Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, oh, Lucky that. Charms, whatever. <laughs> like, all of it. <laughs> she, she's a cereal, cereal eater. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Uh, Reese's Puffs. All okay. The way, all you the went way. one, you went strong. <laughs> yeah. There's no no, no looking around. Okay. I, and when I know what I want, I'm dialed You're all in, about baby. It. And I say I have to mix them all. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can eat it all. it all. I'm with you. We don't have Danielle and I don't have dry cereal in the house. She eats some. But if I have like the sweet, really good stuff, it, it won't Come last on. a day. Well, she took the Lucky Charms popcorn that yesterday. You guys She's up. Yes. still munching on it. Right. <laughs> well, um, but exactly. Uh, I, would I like too. cinnamon toast crunch, mm -hmm. um, cocoa puffs, fruit loops. Um, yeah, I can just keep going. We're Frosted, such kids. Frosted Flakes Frosted are OG. Flakes. Yeah. I know. My dad used to have one box in the house at a time, and right. I would, I was like allowed a little bit, and I would have it as a snack. Like, forget yeah. breakfast. I would just totally. pour it in a bowl and just eat it dry. And you drink the milk after, <laughs> which is always a nice treat at the end. Oh, you can keep going forever and ever. Oh, no, I want cereal. All right, so switching gears a little bit about this uh, friendly competition here. So, with yeah. uh, both John Bon Jovi and Garth Brooks, you know, their bars opening soon, it looks like there is some friendly competition. So, Life and Style Weekly says, is that John Bon Jovi is causing a stir among country stars with his new 37,000 square foot in, uh, you know, bar that's opening up in Nashville. I believe it's opening up in May. Mm -hmm. Now they're all fighting for the tourist buck it's because every time a new celebrity hotspot opens up, mm -hmm. it brings kind of the business of others down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, a lot of stars know both John and Garth, so we're going to see what kind of stars come out to what bars when things mm. get cranking. Personally, I think there's plenty of business for everybody. I mean, it's packed every day downtown anytime you go. So I'm all about it. Wow. Honestly, I don't think there will be a big competition because bon John Bon Jovi stands alone. That's yeah. why he sticks out among all of the Ooh. rest of the country bars, right. in my opinion. Yeah. And that was their goal behind the um, the founder and the the opening, uh, mm. the people opening, yeah. a lovely group, um, big plan holding. So that was their plan to be different. Uh, yeah. Now, wasn't Little John Bon Jovi's the one that's supposed to be like the tallest? I think so, yeah. Which I was wondering if people were going to be mad about. That was where right. I thought. I wonder if people would, would you know, cause a stink hey, over that. Hey, an Problems extra the floor to have more fun, right? <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Mm -hmm. So speaking of Garth and Trisha Yearwood, actually, so they're headed to the small screen or the computer mm -hmm. uh, or the computer screen, I guess, because so they scored an upcoming docu series on Amazon Prime. Now it's titled Friends in Low Places, of course, and Nashville Briefing is mm -hmm. reporting that the series is going to follow the couple and their friends as they get ready uh, to fully open. 
open the bar to the public wow. tomorrow. <laughs> so the series premieres tomorrow as well. Um, I think that's really cool. I can't wait to see Nashville again on TV mm -hmm. and just in the background. And maybe we'll have friends that we know that are. Oh, you know, I know a friend who is definitely going to be in that. So I have to watch to see his for dance the cameos, moves. chasing yeah. the cameras and all that stuff. You know, I think we that's just, awesome. We love Garth and Trisha so oh much. They're yeah. such kind people. You know, they're totally. they're so sweet. And yes, for she, sure. She's in love with the boy. Is the song that I grew up okay. on, That's and when jam. when I met Trisha Yearwood one time, I was like oh, fangirling. I was totally. so excited. <laughs> they're big stars, but they're so down to earth, uh -huh. and we're lucky that we're all neighbors yeah. with them here in town. It's you know, so true. and cool. you got to say, P.S. Trisha Yearwood's uh, mac and cheese in her slow cooker that mm. she's like famous for is. Like out of this world. I Danielle makes Garth. it and crushes it. I oh. asked Garth, I said, What's your favorite Trisha recipe? He said, Her German chocolate cake. Ooh, so you'll that have sounds to make that too. one too. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That right, cereal, <laughs> it'll be really good. Yeah, look at we stop talking about food. <laughs> 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 good deal. Thank you so yep. much. Yep.